I'm Valerie Meacham and today we are going to go step by step from the inside out with my Black Widow costume. As you can probably tell if you pay close attention to these things, this costume is actually the costume that Natasha had in Iron Man 2. And I did make it in the summer of 2010. I first wore it at Dragon Con that year. I am so not your girl for hair and makeup tutorials, so what I'm going to do is link to a couple of ladies who do know what they're doing in that department and let them take care of it. I think I got these at Johan Fabric. They're called Beautiful You Breast Enhancers. Ooh, kind of like old-fashioned falsies, but not as pointy. And so basically, it's, you're putting your silicone on the outside. Because it is heavy-duty spandex, it's basically like wearing full-body Spanx. So it tends to make one quite flat. I will go transform to the first step, and I'll be right back. Poof, I'm back. This hair situation will never, ever stop being funny. So, um, Natasha, you were at this black tie gala with your hair up and out of your way, and you took it down to fight. Now, we all know Natasha doesn't need anything more to get out of any situation, including shoes. But, of course, she has a lot of goodies because they're handy to have. I'm five inches taller than Scarlett Johansson, so if you're doing group photo shoots at a convention or whatever, I went with the flats. Also because it made it really easy to start with a flat shoe and build a boot top on top of it. I mean, I'm sure they're custom made from scratch and it's just an illusion that they kind of look that way, but it made it really handy for me. And unfortunately, I didn't really draw it as a pattern. I kind of freehanded it. So I'm sorry to say that I don't have a pattern that I can share. And having to undo the three straps in order to unzip them every time is kind of annoying, but that's how they're made. Natasha's suit in Iron Man 2 was made with a custom fabric that had the mesh pattern printed in blue in a sort of rubbery material on the black. Some people from the forums actually did get together and order a batch of that. Uh, by the time they were doing that, I was already underway because I really wanted to be ready for Dragon Con that year. And also that was really expensive. It's just, it's a regular nylon stretch mesh over a regular heavy matte black lycra. Next step is the belts. This belt I should have made wider and I keep meaning to make a new one, but it kind of takes a lot of time so I haven't gotten around to it. The buckle. This was my first attempt at resin casting. I first did them in Sculpey and then I made the mold and unfortunately, I used the wrong kind of mold material. If you use a mold uh, material that has water in it and you use that to pour resin casting, you will get bubbles in the resin. I solved that problem basically by just laying down a whole lot of acrylic paint to kind of smooth out the surface. The utility belt, I racked my brain for what material I could possibly use. This is actually trim for a car. And I don't remember now how I got the idea for that. Um, at some point I said, you know, that rubber looks like something automotive and maybe that's what led me to it. And I'm sure the one in the movie was custom. Uh, this is a Serpa. Black Hawk holster. This one is actually for a Glock, so it doesn't fit this holster exactly right, but it does well enough, and we'll get to that when I get out the gun. These guys are from actually a Ruby's uh, costume brand Batman utility belt, and it was yellow, and I cut it up, and I took these pouches off, and I spray painted them black, and then use a little bit of gray acrylic paint to give them a little bit of dimension. I think I need to touch up the paint on them a little bit. And on the back, I have taken some craft, uh, made the, the belt loop thingies with some craft foam, and that is attached with E6000. These little handcuff holder looking thingies. And these guys, I actually just ended up making out of craft foam. Put it all together with Elmore's glue, of all things, and it has held for five years. So 
surprise and I've had to make some slight repairs. You see this one's got some duct tape on the back. So we'll get all the stuff on the belt in order and put it on. Now this is an airsoft replica of the steel Walther PPK that Natasha used in Iron Man 2. Because this holster is made for a different gun, I can get this to fit pretty well and I can get it to click in there and be secure, but when it clicks in there and is secure, it hits the button to drop the cartridge. So I leave the cartridge out so it's not always falling out on the floor behind me. Sleeves always need to be longer on me. What else is new? The arm patches. This is of course the old shield emblem. Uh, these were made for me by a guy on the Superhero Costuming Forum. These are actually cast in resin. I don't know how he made them curved like that. It's kind of tricky. Um, if I were making them myself, I'd probably do them out of craft foam and do one layer of gray and one layer of black. And those just have Velcro. Now these are made of lycra and not leather. I have never been able to find gloves with the right design in leather. The Widow Sting. The ones I've been using in the past were much simpler, just a cylindrical with a rounded end design for each piece. And they were again uh, cast and came from the same guy who made my arm patches. He also included these kind of as a surprise when he sent me the package. I didn't know they were in there. I just recently finally painted and strung them. Metallic black acrylic paint and then I took a metallic uh, dark gray over that, a light brushing to give them a little bit more dimension. I just strung with elastic cord, which I'm realizing I need to tighten up a little bit. So that's it. Next week, Avengers Age of Ultron. Also, free comic book day on Saturday, May 2nd. You may see me at a comic book store near you. I will not be going to see to each of this weekend. Unfortunately, I'm kind of still getting over being sick and my schedule is just not gonna allow it, which is killing me because I really wanna see Haley Atwell, but the life of a busy fan. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please, Click that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, hit me up on social media, let me know what you think. Do you do an Avengers costume? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Probably custom made for the film. That was the squeak of the pouch flying along the belt.